Hello, I'm Megan with the Backyard Habitat Certification Program, and I'm here today to talk about naturescaping. We refer to naturescaping a lot in backyard habitat, but what do we mean by naturescaping? Broadly speaking, naturescaping is a gardening practice in which simple techniques are used to mimic nature. In essence, gardening with nature as your guide. This includes planting locally native plants that are specifically adapted to the light, soil, and moisture conditions of your specific area, ensuring the right plant for the right place. This helps plants not only survive, but thrive. Within backyard habitat, when we talk about naturescaping, we focus on even more, specifically referring to a dedicated area or areas of someone's yard or outdoor space where they've planted multiple locally native plants grouped together that are from multiple canopy layers. Let me explain why we highlight these three items. So first, dedicated areas. To help people be successful when working to create habitat and naturescape their outdoor space, we focus on identifying specific areas of someone's yard to naturescape, rather than having someone feel they need to naturescape the entire yard right off or at all. This leaves plenty of room for your other interests and uses, such as growing food. Second, we highlight grouping plants. By grouping together plants in an area, we create mini ecosystems or a mini community of plants. Additionally, by grouping together multiple plants of the same species, such as three tall organ grape, we also better support pollinators by offering foraging opportunities closer together. And third, we specify multiple canopy layers. By providing multiple canopy layers in an area, we create a more dynamic habitat. Different canopy layers fill different needs, i.e. for food, shelter, nesting, and so forth, and support different birds, pollinators, and other wildlife. We look for three or more canopy layers. And the five different canopy layers we specifically talk about within the program are the ground cover layer, the small medium shrub and fern layer, large shrub layer, understory tree canopy, and overstory tree canopy. Let me tell you a little more about each. So first we have that ground cover layer. These are low growing herbaceous plants such as the fringe cup pictured. Next, it's the small to medium shrub and fern layer. These are ferns such as the sword fern pictured and or small medium shrubs that are woody stemmed and grow up to five feet at maturity. Third, we have the large shrub layer. These are large woody stem shrubs that are five to 20 feet tall at maturity, such as this oso berry. Fourth, we have the small tree canopy layer. These are small trees, such as the cascara pictured, that are less than 30 feet tall at maturity. And finally, we have the large tree canopy layer. These are trees that, at maturity, are 30 feet tall or more, such as the Douglas fir pictured. So to recap, when we talk about naturescaping, what we have in mind is, a dedicated area or areas in which there are a grouping of compatible native plants from multiple canopy layers and for which 50% or more of those plants are locally native. And the great news is we can help you with this. When you enroll in the program, a habitat technician will come out to your site, walk the site with you, and make recommendations based on your site and your interest. For example, maybe you want to draw more pollinators to help your garden beds. Thanks for joining me today. We look forward to seeing your naturescaped area in the future. For more information on naturescaping, check out our website, backyardhabitats.org. We talk about how we use the Portland plant list as our guide for which plants are locally native, how we look for a naturescaped area to be planted with 50% or more native plants, share resources on where to find native plants, how to design with native plants, and more. Additionally, feel free to always email us with your questions.